Izumi Hibachi and Sushi is a specialty restaurant on select rural Caribbean ships that offer a diverse menu of Asian-inspired dishes for both lunch and dinner. The restaurant provides a modern and upscale ambiance giving you a one-of-a-kind experience as you get to watch a skilled chef prepare your food right in front of you at your table, making it one of the most popular restaurants at sea. Hello everyone, I'm Marquise Colton and you're watching Them Coltons where we give out cruise news, tips, tricks, and even vlogs. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the full menu of rural Caribbean's signature restaurant, Izumi Hibachi. I'll be providing you with a detailed overview of the entire menu along with pictures so you have an idea of what to expect when you come and eat here. And to clarify, there are two different versions of the Izumi restaurants on Royal Caribbean ships. The first is the regular sit down style where you get to tell the waiter what you want and then they bring the order to your table. And the second is the Ibachi version where the chef prepares your meal right in front of you using a large grill also known as the Tapanaki style, which is what I'm going to be focusing on today. If you're interested in a complete overview of the menu for the regular Izumi restaurant, you can find the video either at the top right here or in the description. So without further ado, let's get right into the menu. Like always, as a disclaimer, this is a sample menu, so this means that everything I tell you on this menu might not be available on every cruise ship with a Izumi Hibachi, but it does give you an idea of what to expect when dining here. So kind of go over in the different sections of the menu, there's basically two different pages. One page gives you the full menu for the Tepanaki style where they cook in front of you, which is the big grill and everything like that. And then you have another page where it gives you all the different rolls, sushi, and sashimi. So you could pick something from both pages from the sushi rolls and sashimi sashimi page and then a tapanaki page but as a pro tip if you're going with somebody else like your family members or your like significant other i would suggest that you pick one thing from the tapanaki page and then one thing from the roll sushi and sashimi and then just share it with each other and it's like you're getting kind of both styles we're gonna go over the first the roll sushi and sashimi page we first got the signature rolls it gives you eight pieces on here it says 13 dollars but it could be different depending on what cruise ship you're going at and at what time so on here we got the snow crab california roll which has snow crab avocado cucumber and soy paper the rainbow roll which is california roll topped with assorted sashimi we got the spicy crispy tuna roll which is spicy tuna and asparagus flash fried in panko bread crumb unagi sauce and roasted sesame seeds we got the salmon lovers roll which is a crab asparagus roll salmon sashimi and avocado then we got seared tuna tataki roll which is shrimp tempura seared tuna avocado scallions and garlic ponzu sauce then we got the spicy crispy shrimp roll with shrimp tempura, avocado, tempura flakes, unagi sauce, and togarashi. And then a crispy Philly roll, which has salmon, avocado, and cream cheese, flash fried and panko breadcrumb, and champagne sauce with spicy alioli. Now onto the chef's signature rolls, which also gives you eight pieces of rolls. But again, it's going to probably be different at whatever cruise ship you go on and at what time. First, we got the Izumi Rui Futamaki roll, which has tempura fried and assorted sashimi, scallion spicy alioli, champagne sauce, and then spicy chili thread. Next, we got the champagne lobster roll, which has blanched lobster, avocado, daikon sprouts, soy wrap, champagne sauce, and dried chili thread. And then last on the chef's signature rolls is the truffle creamy lobster tempura roll, which has hamachi, salmon, asparagus, lobster tempura chunk, spicy chili thread, spicy mayo, scallion, truffle oil, and unagi sauce. And finally on this page is the sushi and sashimi, which is the most expensive on this page at $17. First is the chef's sushi selection, where you get two of each of these different types of sushi selection one being tuna salmon yellowtail and shrimp and then assorted sashimi which you get three of each of these which is tuna yellowtail salmon and shrimp garnished with wakami salad so that was everything on the rose sushi and sashimi page now we're going to go into the tapanaki page but first i want to invite you guys to click that subscribe button on this video if you guys are finding this to be very helpful i love to make these different things because i never know what's going to be on there i love to look at pictures and different stuff so hopefully this is very informational for you guys especially for for those who never been here and who wants to go here all right so let's get into it so first we're gonna start off with the starters which are complimentary first we got the green mix salad which is crisp baby greens with julienne carrots and cucumbers tossed with our refreshing house ginger dressing and then second they have the vegetable fried rice which is the classic fresh vegetables and scallions fried with sushi rice egg and traditional Japanese seasoning so now we're gonna get into the tapanaki which are the different meats that you could get along with your starters so on the tapanaki there are two different categories Categories. One is the classic where you just get one meat and then they have a premier combo where you can get a combination of meats. For the classic it's priced at $45.99 and the premier combo is priced at $49.99. But again, this could change depending on what cruise ship you go on. So going over the classic first. So first, the Tori, which is just chicken breast. Second is the Gayu, which is beef tenderloin. The next is the Ebi, which is tiger shrimp. 
Now on the premier combo, first we have the samurai which gives you beef tenderloin and tiger shrimp. Next we have the origami which gives you chicken breast and tiger shrimp. Next is the geisha which is a New York steak and chicken breast. And then finally is the izumi which has sea scallops and lobster. So we're gonna finally get into the last category which is the desserts. First is the crispy sesame balls which is filled with red bean paste and garnished with tangy strawberry sauce. Second is the assorted mochi ice cream. We have a choice of three different ice creams being strawberry mango green tea or chocolate then we got the chocolate lava cake which is a chocolate cake with a warm gooey chocolate center finished off with some matcha powder and fresh berries on top and then lastly is the green tea ice cream which is a popular east asian treat made with the finest ceremony grade matcha tea so that was the complete menu of the izumi hibachi menu i hope you guys find this video helpful again if you like the video make sure to click that like button if you guys want to watch more videos you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button and then comment below what other menus you guys want me to go over from different cruise ships with that being said i hope to see you guys next time on them coltons peace